Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day two of Life Lessons on Chill Time with Kelly. I'm your host, Kelly. And today's theme is do it for you, not for anyone else. And what I mean by this is one of the lessons I have learned a while ago that really has shaped me to who I am today is as long as you do what you love and you're doing it for you and not to please anyone else, there's nothing wrong with it because you enjoy it. No one else has an opinion on it but you. If it's not making you happy, then obviously you shouldn't be doing it. But if it does and you love it, despite what anyone else says, go for it. And I have learned that in intense ways and one of the ways that I have learned it is what I'm currently doing so I am a research scientist you can I talk a lot about it in my Instagram which is in the description box follow me on Instagram if you want to see more in depth of my life in in that field I'm not going to talk about it too too much here because it does get kind of graphic but when I first started it my family was not too happy about that because they're just like that is insane you don't even like touching certain things how did you get involved in that well I wear gloves all the time at work so it's not touching my skin nothing is touching my skin directly because that's not allowed it's just gloves and once I'm touching something it's the gloves that are touching it not my hand physically so that's the difference and you're also wearing protection all the time. I'm so like lab coats, um, head nets, like covering, like you are 100% protected and you're not really physically touching anything with your bare hands. Like I said, it's dangerous if you do that. So that's the difference. And it makes me really, really happy because I get to help others in what I do. And I research cancer. And... Cancer is pretty aggressive depending on the form and how severe it is. So I definitely know what I do helps a lot of people. And that's what really comforts me and just gives me the trust within myself too. And I think that's also super, super important that if they, if there if there is anybody who says, oh, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that because of your past or you don't even like doing this and that. Well, honestly, block those opinions out. I will have another episode about that a little bit later this week. But you just really have to just be stern with yourself and just not really let the ne- the outside opinions I guess, influence you. And I think that's the best way I can say that without it sounding harsh. Because I feel like with me, if I ask for other people's advice, when it comes to making my own life decisions, I'm going to be getting so many back opinions that I am not going to be able to think straight and get to the point of what I want. Because... Yes, someone can say that they know you really, really well, but they don't know you unless they are you. Like, they don't fully, fully, fully know you unless they are you. And you are really the only person who knows yourself the best. Obviously, that's just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. But that's what I personally have noticed because I've noticed that... um, in the past, when I have asked people for outside opinions, of um, because I remember this one time I asked my friend, oh, I'm looking at this car or to like buy, what do you think about it? And she's just like, oh, it's so ugly. Hey, why don't you get this one? But I didn't like their suggestion. And I was just like, but I don't like it. That's not my style or taste. And then she was just like, well, what about this? Or what about that? All the cars I got sent, they were, it's just does not look right. Right. And it's not my taste. And I still really went back to that car that I was looking at 
And that's what I mean. Like, everyone has different tastes. Everyone has different opinions about things. things yes, you are not going to be fine. You, it will be hard to find someone exactly, exactly like you because you, you are unique and you are the only you that is out there. And really, really outside opinions, you could take it as creative as like feedback, but don't let it drown drown you and make it affect any big life decisions you have to do. And that's why that's why I personally say do it for you, not for anyone else. Because if I did that and my and a lot of people has influenced my current job decision, I would regret it because I love my current job. Then with my car, I'm in love with my car. I really love what I do. And all of this from my own opinions, not anyone else's. So with that being said, that's going to be the end of this episode of Chill Time with Kelly. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow on the next episode.